Hey everyone, welcome back to EasyTech. So I found this image on my computer from years before. Uh, as you can see, this image is quite small in size and it does not fit uh, the full screen. So let's say if I want to enlarge this photo and use it as a screensaver or let's say as a Facebook background image, um, how do I do this? So now I'm going to show you how to enlarge this photo so it would fit the full screen. So what we do is we first exit from here and then we open our Chrome browser or any browser of our choice. And now let's type uh, photo enlarger. As you can see, there are so many uh, online photo enlarger applications. So let's go for the uh, photo enlarger option as that gives you the best image quality. Even after expanding, it gives you a very detailed image. So once you're in the uh, photo enlarger app, uh, scroll down and click on browse. And now search for the photo you wish to enlarge. In my case, it's saved on the desktop and click on it and now we are on step two uh, where we'll be able to either reduce the file size or maximize it in my case i wish to enlarge it so i'll be moving the bar all the way to the right to get the uh, maximum file size and then here you click enlarge and then here it gives you uh, five different variants or five different algorithms uh, which you can choose from so it, i find uh, these two the uh, the magic kernel sharp and um, the nearest neighbor smoothing the best too. So if you wish to compare between the five, you can always move this bar from the left to the right. Uh, that will zoom it in so you can actually compare between the five different images. So let me quickly uh, zoom in all images and let's decide uh, which image to download. So as you can see guys, this one's quite detailed. Uh, these two as you can see are a bit um, a grainy uh, the hermit as well as the nearest neighbor they are both grainy and this one's uh, nearest neighbor is quite good uh, these two are the best in my opinion but I find uh, it's just my personal choice I find this the best and now click on download uh, over here you get three options to download from either JPG uh, PNG or WebP uh, I prefer the PNG option. Uh, you can choose JPG if you like. Uh, I feel the PNG option gives the highest quality image. So I would go for the uh, PNG option. And then it downloads the file to your download folder. Uh, depending on where your download folder is, it should show up there. As you can see, it's been downloaded to our download folder. Now I'm going to copy this file and paste it to our desktop. So we can uh, compare them and see the uh, size difference. So now let's open them one by one. So this was our photo before. And now here's a newly downloaded photo that we were able to enlarge. Before and after. So guys, that's how you can enlarge any small or old images to fit your entire screen. Uh, this way you'll be able to either uh, use it for your Facebook background image or let's say your desktop uh, background. So guys, if you find this video helpful, give us a like, uh, share this video with your friends. I'm sure they will find this video helpful. Comment down below if you have any questions. Uh, subscribe if you haven't already and we'll see you on the next one.